Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Marlene and in today's video I have a dressily haul. If plus size style fashion and beauty is for you, make sure to smash the subscribe button down the corner and the notification bell so you know when I upload it next time. And if you want to see more of me when I'm not prancing around here in my bedroom, make sure to check out the description box down below because I will leave links to everything that I'm wearing and sharing as well as all my social medias. Um, I'll leave them down there. Today's haul has very kindly been gifted to me by Dress Lily. They reached out to me and asked if I fancied making a video and I wasn't going to turn it down. Now, I will say I have tried Dress Lily once before here on my channel and I will leave links to the video down below. It didn't go so well. Um, so I'm really, really hoping, but I already know that it goes a lot better this time than it did last time because I've already sneak peeked at all the items. But you know how it works. Uh, Dress Lily has gifted me the items that I'm going to share with you today, meaning they have gifted you a discount code. Uh, the discount code is DLBF20. I'll leave it here on the screen and it's also in the description box with links to Dress Lily's website and their Facebook group, Instagram and all the other things. So anything that I could possibly share with you, description box. But listen, with no further ado, let's get into it because I have a lot of items I want to show you. The first item I'm going to show you is actually something completely different. I'm going to, I'm going to do this one first simply because it's adorable. Um, it is a little canvas bag. So let me turn it around. It's a tiny little canvas bag like this. And we have a strap and we have a little bunny on the front. This little bag, I actually thought it would be a little bit bigger. And I had kind of hoped that this strap would be big enough for an adult to kind of use it. Now, the reason I fell in love with this is actually because Abby, my little girl who's 10 years old, is obsessed with bunnies. And I kind of thought, I'll take the bag, she gets the bunny, right? But I think because this bag is actually not that big and the strap is kind of small, I think this whole bag might just be going into Abby. But nevertheless, it is extremely cute. It opens up straight into a little pocket. Um, it's a good size, actually. This little bunny bag, a little canvas bag, is on the website for 11 euros and six cent. The first clothing item I want to share with you is this little faux leather jacket. It's kind of like a biker jacket, and I think it's really, really cool. This will be a lot easier to show you when I put it on, but you see this piece here? That's supposed to kind of go under the other side, like that. Does that make sense? Right, but this piece is quite long but i think it's maybe for so when it falls do you know if you keep it open that it'll fall nicely on you what i really liked about this this detail i actually think is really really nice see on the inside of the sleeve it's stretchy fabric instead of the faux leather the faux leather itself have no stretch in it whatsoever but the fabric on the on the side do so i got this one in a size 3xl and we need to just talk about sizes on dressily Sizes on Dress Lily is something I got completely wrong last time because I went by their measurements. Dress Lily, like several of the other sites, have um, measurements as well as sizes. They have, I think Dress Lily just had the US sizes. I'm not sure there was UK sizes, but US sizes are two sizes smaller than a UK size. So when I was picking the items for you here for today, I went by the US size and then I added two sizes to the US size to get the UK size so I knew what I needed to get. Does that make sense? This one here I got in a size 3XL and a 3XL is equivalent to a UK size 24. So that's what I went for and it's on the website for 24 euros and 68 cent. Now I really like the look of this jacket. I think it's really nice, but unfortunately it's just very thin. This faux leather here is no thicker than an ordinary kind of piece of fabric. Um, it is nice and suede, soft on the inside, but again, it's just one wee thin layer. The same with the rip on the inside, it is just one layer of fabric, meaning there is no warmth in this jacket at all. I do think it looks very nice though. I think it's like aesthetic. It's like, yeah, it's cool, it's cool. Now, what I was saying to you before, see when I close it, this piece here is really, really wide. This piece, when you want to close the jacket, it has to go in here, close over, and then, now I did close it yesterday, so there you have it on. I really like the aesthetic and the look of this jacket. I'd probably wear it with a pair of jeans. And to be honest with you, I think I would just wear it around the house. You know, like as if it was 
a top, a cardigan kind of thing. Um, I don't, like, obviously it's too thin to wear as a jacket, um, especially at this time of year. Next up, I picked a sheer little shirt. And look at the color. Isn't this fab? I just love the color of it. And it's a, it's a plain button up shirt. It goes like this. We have the V-neck and then we have the collar on it. We have the flaps for faux pockets here on the front. We have white plastic buttons going down. We have an ordinary cuff on the sleeve. So a plain enough shirt, but I love the color and I love the sheer fabric. This shirt here, again, I got it in a size 3XL, which is equivalent to a UK size 24 and is on the website for 17 euros and two cents. This shirt is really, really sweet. I really like this shirt. I think the aesthetic of it, the look of it is really, really nice. Now I got this in a size 3X, which is a UK size 24, which is my usual size. And as soon as I move, I, I can't, like it's tight over my arms here. I can't, cannot pull my arms back. I can move my arms forward, but it's kind of tight in the back. This shirt sadly is just, it's just, a size too small. I should have had this one a size 26, which leads me back to the sizes again, because the jacket that I just tried was a UK size 24 as well, a 3XL. This is a 3XL. The jacket had plenty of room. This one is too small. The next item I have for you, you may have seen before. If you've been here not long ago, you would have seen I had a haul from Rose Gal that was gifted to me as well. Rose Gal and Dress Lily reached out to me roughly around the same time. So I was picking out all the items for both hauls at the same time. And what these little dummies have done, I picked not one, but two of the same items. So this dress you may already have seen in my Rose Gal haul. And this is also the time I should tell you that the labels in all these items says Rose Gal. So the items are the exact same. It must be coming from the exact same company. I assume that they are just sister companies. So that's why, but nevertheless, I can tell you up front, I won't even be able to put this on because it's that small. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grab the exact same dress that I have right, from Rose Gal. And I'm going to show you that because it's a size bigger. This one in a, in, in a size 3XL, I can't even put it on. So I'm actually going to show you the exact same one that I got from Rose Gal. Okay, that was a lot of talk. Let's talk about the dress because it's absolutely gorgeous and I wish I could fit it. It is a shirt dress. It is a full button up shirt dress. It have these absolutely gorgeous buttons on it, which is actually the detail I fell in love with. Other than that is a plain shirt. It is, we have a plain collar. We have a plain cuff again, oh, there, with the button on it. Um, we have pockets. Oh, we have one pocket, one breast pocket, and it is slightly A-line, straight up, straight down. It's an absolutely gorgeous dress. I wish I could fit it. Unfortunately, I can't. Anyway, as I said, the one I have here is a size 3XL. The one I will be wearing in a minute is a 4XL. Um, the 3XL is equivalent to a size 24. The 4XL is equivalent to a size 26. And it's on the website for 22.97 euros. It's euros. Whew, I breathe. As I said, this dress that I'm trying on is the one that I got from Rose Gal, which is a size of 4XL, UK size 26. And as you can tell, it's just too tight. It's bursting over my bust. It's tight on my tummy and it is tight on my back. Unfortunately, the sizing is just off on this one. It is an absolute beautiful dress. I really do like it. It does button the whole way down. I was just lazy to be honest with you. It is absolutely gorgeous. I would have loved this had I been able to fit it, but it wasn't meant to be. Next up, I have something completely different. Um, it is a little bodycon dress. And if you know me, you will know that it is the magpie in me that went shopping because I can't resist anything with sequins on it. As I said, it is a bodycon dress. We have the two panels of sequins going down the dress and it's black in the middle. We have a little ruching detail here in the chest area and a short sleeve. It is just plain black on the back, which I actually really like. Let me just check stretch because I think it's quite stretchy. The black fabric here is definitely stretchy. What about the sequin? Oh, stretching the sequin as well. That's what I really wanted to test out. I got this one in a size 4XL, which is equivalent to a UK size 26, and is on the website for 19 euros and 57 cents. This is quite a cute dress. It's just not right for me. 
if it was to be right for me, these panels here should have been in a little bit. So this stripe should have been a little bit narrower. The stretchy material of this fabric is very unforgiving. This dress shows all lumps and bumps. However, I did get this one in a size uh, 4XL, UK size 26. Size wise, it fit me perfect. I could possibly, due to the stretch of this, I would have been able to fit a size 3XL, but obviously it would have been even more clingy to lumps and bumps. Yeah, I needed another coat. Yeah, yes. Let me just oh, horse it up for you here. The reason I love this coat is this detail here. I haven't even closed it up. I'll better spend a minute to do that. On the side of this coat here, it has this little tie detail that kind of crisscrosses, and I absolutely love it. Other than that, it is a plain coat. We have just a usual coat sleeve. We have two buttons. Do we have two buttons? We have three buttons. We have three buttons. Single breasted, but then we have those tie details. I just think it's absolutely beautiful, this coat. And this detail, I'm in love with it. I got this coat in a size 3XL, a UK size 24, and it's on the website for 31 euros and 48 cents. This coat is so gorgeous and I can close it. I can, I can, I can. Look wise, it fits absolutely perfect. However, movement wise is a different story. It is so tight right here on my arms. The arm hole should have been a little bit longer, sewn in a little bit further and I would have been able to fit it perfectly. It does look amazing and I absolutely love it. This tie details, it did take a little bit of faffing around getting it sorted, but it's so pretty. If only it had been that slight little bit bigger. I don't even think going up a size would fix the problem for me because I think the shoulder measurement would simply just be too wide and it would fall down like a drop shoulder. Also, it does fit me in the bust. Tell me everything fits apart from just that, that over the shoulder. So I absolutely love this coat. I think it's so beautiful. The aesthetic of it is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm really bummed that it doesn't fit me properly. Next up is my second item that I also picked from Rose Gal. So I already have this skirt just in two different sizes. Again, I went by the sizes and I don't know where I messed up. But anyway, I picked this one up and I picked it up in a size 1XL, um, which is the equivalent to a UK size 20. Lucky for me, I already have this skirt in a size 2XL and that's the one I'll be trying on for you because this one, sadly, I can't fit. Um, it is, however, and it looks a bit funny, doesn't it? But you know what? It's the most beautiful skirt we can get it on. It is a bodycon skirt and it has a ruching on both sides. It is slightly longer in the back than it is in the front. And then we have the zip detail. Oh, let's go like that. There's a zip detail here in the corner that you need for kind of getting it on and off because the waistband itself does not have a lot of stretch to it, although the fabric do. It is an absolutely beautiful skirt and I can tell you I love mine, uh, just in the bigger size. Um, but as I said, this one that I have here in my hand is a 1XL UK size 20 and is on the website for 18 euros and 72 cents. I love this skirt. As I said, the one I'm wearing is the 2XL, the one that I got from Rose Gap, but it is identical down to the tags apart from the size. I love this skirt. Um, the only thing I'd say is the sip needs a little bit of candle wax because it's a little bit hard to get up and down. My favorite part of this skirt is the ruching because it really helps disguise the belly. So you can put this up and down wherever fit your belly but the ruchings on the belly helps kind of disguise the lumps and bumps which i really really love now i do love myself a good pencil skirt i wear them all the time my summer was spent in pencil skirts but this one is just adorable i told you we had a lot of items right i'm, I'm still not done a few more to go but next up we have a denim shirt now this is a thin denim but it has a little tie belt it'll show better when i put it on but it has a little tie belt here in the waist other than that, it is just a usual denim shirt. We have two pockets, breast pockets. Are they functioning? They are functioning. That is very good. The cuffs are those little push buttons like those. And they're the ones that goes in the front of the shirt as well. We have those buttons all the way down in silver. So it's a lovely little shirt and I really, really like it. Once again, I picked this in a size 3XL, which is the equivalent of a UK size 24, my usual size. 
and it's on the website for 24 euros and 68 cents this shirt is so cute and it really does fit i wouldn't have minded it being half a size bigger but it does fit and i can move in it so that's the main thing i do love the aesthetic of this um i think it's so cute and the fact that it is a shirt, I don't mind that it's not a thick denim, that it is a thinner denim. I just think it's beautiful. I love the tie detail. And that is my only bad point about this shirt. But that's not the shirt's fault. It's due to my chest. Because I have such a large chest, it's sitting kind of just below my bust, where it would have been nice if it had been a bit lower. But that's not the shirt's fault. That is the way I'm built. I think this is an absolutely gorgeous shirt. I think it's beautiful. I absolutely love it. Next up, another of my favorite items from this haul. I got a trench coat. I know, a trench coat. Look at this. Isn't it beautiful? Now, I know it needs a good iron. I'm sorry. I haven't had the time to iron it beforehand, and I should have. But anyway, it is a normal-looking trench coat. It's a usual trench coat color. The only thing about this one is that it's very, very thin. It is simply just one layer of material. It's not a coat material. Um, so I think it'll be more like for style and for look versus wearing it for actual warmth and cold. So that's the only thing about this trench coat. We have the usual kind of flap that goes in a trench coat. It, it's this little flap is on both sides. It'll show up a lot better when I try it on. Um, we have the double breast uh, buttons going down. So you have two rows of buttons collar tie belt and that's kind of it we have little straps there on the sleeves as well it is a gorgeous trench coat and i got this one in a size once again 3xl uk size 24 and it's only 25 euros and 53 cents isn't this cute i don't actually own a trench coat this would be my first trench coat and i actually i really like this it's very different and very unusual and I wasn't sure I was going to like these two little flaps here but I do know that they are kind of you know they're very uh, known on the trench coat isn't it that you have this kind of little extra bit sitting here we do have the double breast and we do have the tie belt um the only thing I would say about this is unfortunately it must just be the way dress lily is made once again my arms are kind of being they're being squashed a bit here as you can see it's sitting tight on my arms yet I have plenty of room elsewhere look at this look at this now this one again is a uk size 24 it was a 3xl where did you go there so sizes i'm afraid it's a little bit up and down on dress lily now next up i got two pieces of jewelry i just kept them in the bag here just so they didn't kind of get lost let's go for the necklace first this necklace is a coin necklace now it is costume jewelry there's no doubt about it but the price was only three euros 29 this necklace is in one there's only one lock on the necklace but we have two chains sitting on the necklace and the charms here are two little coins if you want to see close up of these um this jewelry here make sure to follow me over on instagram because that's where i will show you i post some still photos over there now i love this necklace but it is a little bit on the short side for me I'm wearing the wrong top for showing you a necklace, but I just threw on this jumper dress here for handiness. See, the inner one, the smaller of the necklace, I personally think that's a little bit tight on me. I rarely wear necklaces, that's being honest with you. It's something that I want to branch into more, which is why I decided to give it a try. I love the look of the necklace, but to be honest with you, I think I'll be taking the inside necklace out because the outside one has the length that I prefer. And then I just pair it with another necklace. I think it's gorgeous though. And for 320 something, what was it? What did I say? 329, you can't go wrong. The other piece of jewelry I've got is even more me. It's a pair of blingy earrings here. I'll take out my little silver skull earring. There, if you want to know more about the earrings that I'm already wearing, check out the description box because they are my absolute new favorite earrings. Now, this earring. I love big bold statement earrings. That is kind of the jewelry I tend to wear. Isn't that stunning? Oh, I love this. It's just so big. It's just so bold. It's just so shiny. And it's just so 
me. <laughs> it's gorgeous, isn't it? I love these earrings. And they're on the website again for only $3.37. The last item I have for you for today is a pair of jeans. Let me just close these up. They are a pair of ripped jeans. They are more of a straight leg. Um, I don't think they're completely skinny legs anyway. Um, but then they have these nice rips on it. And best of all, they have two details that I love. Buttons down the front and the color. I love dark denim. Now, I did get these in a size 1XL, uh, which is a UK size 20. And I should probably have gone for a UK size 22. But there is a good bit of stretch in them. And I can tell you already, they do fit. Um, so, yeah, but they are absolutely gorgeous. These are on the website for €24.68. Euros and 68 cents. Aren't they just fab? I love these jeans with vengeance. I think they are so class. The material's really nice. It's not a thick, thick denim, but it's not a thin denim either. It's, do you know what? Pennies slash Primax quality, that's what you've got. Absolutely love them. They fit me perfect. They are a little bit snug in the waistband. And on that point, I could have gone up a size, but if you've been here before, you'll also know that my measurements are reasonably square. I don't have much of a waist because what little waist I have is taken up by my bellies. I'm not sure they would have fitted any better if I had gone up a size. They may just have ended up being too big in the backside where they actually fit me perfect. Again, they are more straight leg. They're not like skinny, skinny jeans. They're definitely not sitting skinny on my calves, but I like these. And you know what? I would give them a little roll up and wear them with a pair of trainers. And that is it for this quite extensive haul. We finally made it to the end. A huge thank you to Dress Lily for reaching out to me. It has been a pleasure to try on their items, especially because I had such bad luck last time. I did take a little bit extra time and care picking out the items for today's haul. I wanted to make sure that I did a better job than I did last time. Um, but yeah, to be honest with you, I really love the items that I got here. Sizes is the one where we don't quite agree just yet. I will just have to admit that I'm a size UK 26 on Dress Lily. Um, but at least I know for next time when I haul from there that I need to go up to a size 26 top and a 22 bottom to make sure I get the proper fit. Quality wise, because I know a lot of people will ask about it, quality wise is a bit of a mixed bag as well. Quality on a lot of the items are really, really good. Um, the only thing I would say is simply just the items are thin. Listen, that is it for today's haul. Again, once again, don't forget the discount code. Most importantly, here on the screen in the description box, it is DLBF20 and it will give you 22% off your entire order. A huge thank you to Dress Lily for reaching out for me and working with me. It has been my pleasure. But with all that said and done, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.